Police in West Texas say a landfill search revealed clues in the search for a missing 13-year-old girl. A spokesman for Colorado City says cadaver dogs made positive hits as they sniffed through the site. They refused to provide any other details on what the dogs found. Haley Dunn disappeared three weeks ago. She reportedly said she was going to her father's house, then a friend's, but she never showed up at either location. Meanwhile, two national search organizations have joined the local effort to find the girl. I put some organization into this so that there is an effective way to be able to monitor their progress, um, as well as be able to provide feedback back to law enforcement about that progress. Class Kids has been helping to train search volunteers. I think it was at a point in time that the family was uh, desperate, uh, desperate for more answers, more involvement. Even the police department will get more manpower. It's hiring two additional officers. So that uh, we make sure that nothing falls through the cracks or that we don't have insufficient uh, uh, manpower in order to continue the investigation. Sean Atkins, the former live-in boyfriend of Dunn's mother, says he was the last one to see her. Police call Atkins a person of interest in the disappearance. Both he and Dunn's mother, Billy, have denied any involvement. While they don't know what happened to Dunn, officials say they're not giving up hope that she will be found alive. Matt Friedman, The Associated Press.